what are your thoughts on the recent CM Punk controversy? Um, you know, I think it's interesting. Um, I, I think that it's funny that the word online sometimes is that AEW is going to implode and like they're done and, and Tony can't handle the chaos and he, all that cracks me up because I think there's probably no truth to that whatsoever. I don't even think he probably cares. I don't know. Um, but, you know, I watched Punk's uh, interview that he, that he gave when he was stuffing his mouth with Twinkies and um, shitting on everybody. And... Um, you know, he he always strikes me as the same guy, you know? And that guy, just from feeding his, feeling his energy, right? There's a lot of egos in wrestling, right? I mean, you have, first, you have to have a big ego to even think you can do this, to follow your dreams and think, fuck yeah, you know, I can, I'm, I'm a winner, I'm gonna beat out my classmates, you know? You have to have, and really, where do you draw the line between, you know, believing in yourself and then believing in your own shit? There's, you know, there's a fine line. Um, and, and with wrestling, I don't know if you noticed, but every single promo is just arrogance, of uh, ego. Every single promo is the wrestler telling you, I'm the baddest bitch there is, and you don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that's <laughs> but that's every single everyone has their own spin on that but it's all and in, in real life you know like I've been separated from the full time long enough to where I don't even connect with that competitive ego anymore and it, it makes so many decisions for you when you're trapped in that in that way of thinking you don't even realize it um, but but now looking at it from the outside uh can you imagine like another form of entertainment like musicians if, if there was a singer up here saying you know this is the last ticket you need to buy you don't need to hear anybody else sing once you've heard my voice you've had the best all downhill don't waste your time my words oh uh. there's no i can't think of comedy acting you know robert de niro like eh. I'm the best actor, no. But with wrestling, wrestling and fighting, it's arrogance against arrogance the whole time. And that's always been an issue. The more I got in touch with my inner zen, the more of a conflict that became, you know? And also, do I want, if, if people are gonna be inspired by me and my actions and my beliefs, do I want them to think that I'm like that? You know, that I, anyway. CM Punk probably has as big of an ego as anybody I can think of that I've met in the business. And that's just, and I'm not saying that necessarily in a bad way, it depends on how you take it, but I think that he believes that he really is the best, you know, the best in the world. And, you know, like, I learned years ago that strippers can be fun to date as long as they can leave the gimmick at work <laughs> and not bring it home and be normal at home. <laughs> right? <laughs> Wise words. If you're able to come back in the dressing room and still be that guy in the ring that say, that really believes you're the best in the world and you're ready to prove it or whatever, then, you know, the business looks at someone like that as, like I said before, like, dude, you're believing your own hype and, um, you know, there's nobody on their own is moving the industry. It's everybody together. So um, being around him, just feeling his energy, um, I, I, I feel like he, I, I believe him. Hey, these guys make it to the top. The guys who believe in themselves the most, the guys who do the promos, they convince you that they really think they're the best. They're the ones that make it to the top. They're also the ones that I can't stand because I think they're fucking crazy. <laughs> if they're really there, you know, telling you like, you know, again, who did you fucking beat? Who <laughs> who did you really pin? Because, I mean, what are we doing here? It's fucking pro wrestling. But 
But I, I don't know that much about Phil. You know, I haven't been around him a whole lot. He, when WWE ECW was around, as everyone knows, shortly after we started, I got suspended for 30 days. I'm gone. And there were some new guys coming in besides CM Punk, Bobby Lashley, uh, Vampire Dude. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, anyway, uh, a few guys came. They were new. I'm gone for 30 days. When I came back, <laughs> I'm, at, I'm at the first show back, and uh, CM Punk approaches me at the building, and he says, hey, Rob, I just want to let you know, I'm going to have a team meeting in the dressing room. <laughs> he says, of course, this has nothing to do with you. I just want to tell you so you know, like, when everyone's back there and stuff. And I'm like, what? <laughs> you're, you're locker room leader? Like, what happened? But... Some people are comfortable just taking that position of control and moving forward, and I, I don't know. I, I kind of think like he's, he's one of them. In the, in the meeting, he said, somebody's been stealing uh, from the bags in the dressing room, and we know it's one of the boys. It was one of those deals. He said, obviously, we know it's not you. I mean, I hadn't been around, but nobody would blame me for that anyway. Um, anytime that happened, I was never, never even suspected. They never knew. But... Um, <laughs> But just as an example of, you know, of, of CM Punk's um, sternness, like I don't think he's like real flexible in his code of ethics. I think he lives by like a real strict guideline where he's like, what? Is somebody offending me? Am I offended? Should I be offended right now? Yeah, you know, I, I feel like, I feel like that's his energy. I had always heard that if you were in the main event of WrestleMania, you're making seven figures. Easy. Like, no doubt about it. No doubt about it whatsoever. When I got the check, it was considerably less than that. Now, I don't want to say what it was because it was still a shitload of money, but it wasn't the WrestleMania payoff that I had always heard about. 